Today what we're working on is rendering down the back fat into lard. So what we're gonna do is render it two different ways and we're gonna use two of the quicker methods that I've read about. One is gonna be in the oven where we chop the lard into one inch pieces, throw it into a pot in the oven at 200 degrees and the second way is going to be in an Instapot. We're gonna chop up all of the fat that we have and then also I'm gonna package it up and go ahead and put it in the freezer so that we can render it in larger batches down the road when we have a little bit more time. Filled up the first container. This is gonna be for the oven method and I'll take you inside and show you what I'm doing in there. So I have the oven preheated to 200 degrees and I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on the top rack here and I'm gonna come back and check on it in 45 minutes and stir it. See how it's breaking down, but I think this overall process is gonna take anywhere from three to five hours. This is gonna be for the Instapot and I went ahead and put about an inch of water in the bottom and then I'll put fat in it and then we'll go and set it. One of the things that we want to do is smoke the ears and some of the bones. However, my pit boss smoker is not working. What's happening is you can hear the motor trying to churn the auger, which would then bring the wood pellets into, but the auger is not turning. So I'll show you what it's doing, but I'm going to turn it on smoke and you'll be able to hear this kick on and you should see this auger turn occasionally but it doesn't turn. What I'm gonna to try to do is just use like a screwdriver or something and try to get that caked on dried up material from the edges of the auger blades. Since this thing is making a lot of noise with the rattling of this motor back and forth as it turns, I'm taking the pin out and I'm going to take the motor off in hopes that I can take this auger all the way out and, and make sure I'm cleaning the entire rotation, I guess, the entire length of the auger. There we go. So there's the entirety of the auger. I'll do a little cleanup on the edges of this so it's a little bit more smooth as it rotates around its casing. Then I'll put it back in. Oh, that's so much nicer. There we go. That works. It was 45 minutes and barely started to render down. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it go for another hour and I'll come back and check on it again. Today I am working on quite a few different projects here in the house. I'm working on rendering some lard, so I've got some batches cooling on the counter. I've got more in the oven that is still rendering out. I thawed out some chicken breast from the chickens that we processed. I'm going to season them a couple different ways and put them out on the smoker. It's just gonna be a nice easy way that I can cook up five to six breasts at the same time and then do it for different meals and have some ready to go in the freezer. I've also made a batch of fresh bread and I'm thawing out our first pork butt that we are going to be putting in the smoker tomorrow. All of the chicken breasts are gonna get salt, pepper, garlic, and onion on them. And then I'm gonna differentiate between doing more of a savory with rosemary and thyme and paprika, or more of uh, an Asian style with curry, uh, kefir, lime, and cilantro. I like to heavily season them because I end up, I find myself cutting them up and adding them into other dishes. So if you put them in a rice dish 
or in a pasta dish, it helps with the flavor. So I've got six total chicken breasts. Two are flavored just very traditional. Two are flavored with cilantro and kefir lime and curry. And then these two, the largest two, are actually a little bit of a blend between the two. I did some cilantro lime seasoning on here and then I did paprika and rosemary, salt and pepper, garlic, onion. So this one I think will likely be for a pot pie. This one will be for dinner tonight. I'm gonna do a Parmesan risotto. And this last one over here is going to go in the freezer and this will likely be for a stir fry. These are gonna rest for a little bit while the smoker heats up and then these will go out on smoke and then they will uh, cook for about an hour until they're completely done. For this one, it's going to be a brown sugar, paprika, black pepper, and salt mixture. And we're gonna wrap this one, basically just drench it all really, really good. Make sure we get inside of here, down to the bone. And then we're going to wrap it in butcher paper and hang it in a sack and hang it downstairs. these all marked so going to have ace 55 tomatoes hillbilly jubilee sun sugars tie-dyes black crims champagne bubbles rio grande purple Cherokee and pink brandy wine, red pear and yellow pear. And then for tomatillas, we're gonna have purple, verde, and pineapple. got a good variety and I will tape these to the back and the outside so they don't get all wet but tomatoes are planted. <laughs> <laughs> 